Hey guys, Kyle from Z1 again, here to introduce our newest product, the Elite Scan Tool. Uh, a lot of you viewing this are familiar with scan tools, how you can read and clear check engine lights, view live engine data, but this one offers a lot, a lot of cool features that we want to show you. So we're going to dive in a little bit, look at some of our favorite features, and how it will be useful for you. Today we have John's 2009 370Z. I'm going to use this to show you some of the basic features as well as some of the more advanced features that normally require a trip to the dealership. Uh, first one is the easy read and clear check engine lights. This first tab here is your basic code reader functions. So we're going to go in and check for check engine lights. Okay. So we got read codes, erase codes, and live data. Let's see if he has any. Nope. Uh, we can erase them anyways. Okay, and live data is all right here. We've got all your engine parameters here. Okay, now that we've read and cleared check engine lights, let's go to the more fun stuff. This second tab is where you can really deep dive into the vehicle systems. SmartVIN will read the VIN number and show you all modules available to you. All the modules your car should have. Okay, complete. Okay, quick scan will go through the CAN bus and read all of the modules and check codes on all of them. So we've got 13 available modules on this 370Z. And it's gonna check for codes on all of them. Okay, now that it's scanned all the modules, we're, we'll hit report. And we can see we actually found a fault in the body control module and airbag in John's car. We should, uh, should have let him know about this. Okay, now that we did a quick scan, let's go down and dive into some of the modules of the vehicle. So we're gonna go in engine. And I mentioned that we can do features that you normally have to go to the dealership for. So let's go to active test. And you can see you can cycle the radiator fans, fuel pump, adjust ignition timing, um, idle speed, all in here. But what I really want to show you is a special function for relearing the throttle bodies. That is idle air volume learn. Okay, have to make sure you match the parameters. And when you do this, engine has to be running. It will relearn the throttle bodies to stop the surgy idle that HRs and VHRs have in most cases. All right, now let's move on to the queue and go over some more advanced features as well. For the rest of this demonstration, we're going to use our 2016 Q50 Red Sport. Unlike the 13 modules that we can connect to in John's 370, there are 39 in this car. We've got lane departure warning, uh, adaptive cruise control, the throttle pedal, uh, driver convenience, everything. So one thing that I really like is that you can delete the coolant pumps for the intercoolers on the VR30 engine. So let's look at that. I went into select modules and then engine. And now we're going to go to active test and charge air, co uh, charge air cooler cooling electric water pump. A lot of you with VRs are already familiar with this procedure. When you open up the charge air coolant system, it's very difficult to bleed. Normally you have to go to the dealership and cycle the charge air coolant pump on and off or full speed, slow speed. This page allows you to pick what you want to log. We'll just do everything. Okay, so here we're gonna use F1 for normal, F2 for full drive, and you can actually speed up the pump, fast and slow, back and forth a few times, and you'll notice your cooling system, your charger cooling system bleeding. Okay guys, hope that gave you some insight on how useful this tool can be and its capabilities. I could sit here for another hour showing you it can turn on the lights, wipers, honk the horn, all that fun stuff. Really, I just encourage you to get one for yourself, try it, um, think you'll like it. So, they're in stock now, ready to ship. You can find a link in the description below, or on our website. And yeah, thanks for viewing. See you next time.